Let's select this one, the first rectangle shape, from the screen. Hold down Control or Command key and click this one. So this rectangle would be selected from the layer panel. Now, go to the exercise file. From there, open the Sarah image folder. From there, bring the Sarah image one into Photoshop. Okay, so let's select the move tool from the toolbar and double click here to unlock this image. And drag this image and drop it to here. So this image will be on top of this rectangle shape. Now right click the mouse button and select create clipping mask. And press control or command plus T from the keyboard in order to, oops, see what happened? It's bending like that because I held down the command key and that's why I get such a bend. Press control or command Z to undo it. Let's hold down the shift key from the keyboard while resizing this image to get the equal proportion. Okay. Okay. Click OK. From the option bar, press Control or Command plus Enter. And again, select this one. By holding down Control or Command and click on this shape, this would be selected. And go to the exercise file. From there, bring this one, Sarah Image 2, open to our Photoshop. And double click here in the lock to make it unlocked. Select the Move tool and bring and drag and drop it to here. Place on top of the shape. Right click the mouse button and select Create Clipping Mask. So this image would be clipped inside our rectangle 4, copy 2. It can be any name. If you work on your canvas art on this document and now select the image control command plus T to resize. Hold down the shift key while resizing. From the lower side. Okay, now let's move her image. Okay. Okay. Press OK from the option bar. And select this one now, the last one of the first row. Click here, Command or Control key, and click here. It would be selected from the layer panel. So it's selected. Go to the exercise file. From there, bring Sarah Image 3. Open it to Photoshop. Select the Move tool. Double click here, the, the lock, to unlock it. Bring this image to the working document or working canvas. Place it here. Right click the mouse button, create clipping mask. So this image would be clipped inside this shape. And now let's select Control or Command plus T from the keyboard in order to resize it. and select this corner. Hold down the shift key from the keyboard. From this side, hold down the shift key from the keyboard. Okay, let's place this image to here. Bring these two ladies into the middle. Okay. Oh, click OK from the option bar. And our, now our first row is finished. Now select this one. Control or Command key from the keyboard and click this one. So it's the row two, rectangle four. Go to the exercise file and from there select this one, Sarah image four. Open it to Photoshop and let's close the older one. Okay and select the Move tool from the toolbar. Double click here, or one click on this lock button. It would be unlocked. And now bring the Sarah Image 4 to the working document and place it here.
Okay, right-click the mouse button, select Clipping Mask. Command plus T in order to resize this one. Hold down the Shift key from the keyboard. And resize it. And... Okay. Okay. Great. Now, let's increase this a little more. And bring her image to here. To see the full view. Okay. Click OK from the option bar. Now, again, select this one. Control or Command and click on this shape. It will be selected in the layer panel. Now go to the exercise file. From there, select image file, open it to Photoshop. Okay, and select the move tool. Click here to unlock it and drag and drop to our canvas. Place it here. Right-click the mouse button, select Create Clipping Mask. So this image will be clipped inside this shape. Zoom out. And click Command plus T in order to resize this image. And while resizing, to make it smaller, hold down the Shift key from the keyboard. From the left side. Okay, let's zoom in now. On the right side. From the bottom side. Okay. Click OK from the option bar. Let's zoom in. And place this image here. Okay. So her image would be more visible. And now select this one. Control or Command and click on this shape. It will be selected in the layer panel. And go to the exercise file. From there, bring Sarah image 6. Uh, so select the Move tool from the toolbar. Click one time on the lock and unlock this image. And bring this image to our working document. And place it here. Right-click the mouse button. Select Create Clipping Mask. Now we have to resize. M make this image smaller. Control or Command T in order to resize the image. And from the top side... Hold the shift key from the keyboard while resizing the image. One from the left hand side. One from the bottom left. Okay. Place it to here from right side. One from this left side. Okay. Place them here. Okay, click OK from the option bar. So now we have a very nice profile screen for the Instagram user. This one is for the Instagram user profile screen. And we have to create another one, which would be for someone else's profile. When you visit someone else's profile, it looks almost the same, except here will be a green color and writing following, if you follow her or him. And if you don't follow, it would be like a text-only follow. So now we have our screen, and what we have to do uh, last is this profile icon. Since this screen is for this profile icon, so this one would be selected, filled with a black color. So let's do that. And let's select this one by pressing Control or Command key from the keyboard. And make sure this Move tool is selected. And click on this icon. This icon would be selected. See, this icon did not select. It selected the rectangle copy behind it. So select again and click. This time it is selected, layer 13, see? While this one is selected, right-click the mouse button and select Convert to Smart Object. So now you see that a wrapping paper is showing in the bottom of this layer, thumbnail. Double-click here. Then it opens a new, in a new document, the icon. So what you have to do is click here in the foreground from the toolbar. Foreground color, click here. Then you will have a color picker icon here. 
from color icon. Click this one in this pixel. Click. And this color is selected. Is it 838383? Sorry, 838385. Click OK. Since our foreground color is with that hex code, if you select the brush tool from the toolbar and start painting, it would be painting with that hex code. So paint it well inside uh, this round shape. Don't go outside. Fill it all. Everything. See, some pixels are still showing. Fill it all. Make sure that hardness is 100% from the option bar of the brush tool. Select this one. Start filling this one with the same. Hex code color. Okay, so now we have the, this icon is filled with a dark gray color. Now you see this layer is, layer is 131 PSB. Now press Control or Command S from your keyboard in order to save it or go to the file menu. From there select Save. Then what will happen, since this is a smart object layer, it will be saved automatically on our main document. See our, the profile icon? User icon is filled with a gray color. So now you can understand that this is the, the user profile screen. So we've almost completed the screen. But what we have to do is select this one, the Sarah Scott text. Hold down the command key from the keyboard and click on Sarah Scott. So Sarah Scott text layer would be selected. Now double click there and select this one. Just put an underscore in the between the Sarah Scott. So Press Command or Control plus Enter in order to accept it and make it a copy. By Command or Control plus J from the keyboard so it would have a copy. Select the Move tool. Bring this one to here. And double click here. Now remove the underscore from here. Okay, Sarah Scott aligned with this one. Okay. Okay, and select this one, the Sarah Scott, and increase it a little bit. The font size to, let's say, 38. Okay, 38. And press the down arrow key a few times. Okay, that's it. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And see you in our next tutorial.